What's up, guys? This is Matt from Rick Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we have an article for you guys. And it's talking about the January 6th uh, committee who deleted encrypted files before the Republicans took the House. Yeah, th this is an incredible story. Um, we'll comment after. Let's take a look. Obstruction of justice. Explosive report reveals Trump hating J6 committee secretly deleted over 100 potentially damning encrypted files right before the GOP took over the House. An explosive report from Fox News has revealed that Trump-hating January 6th committee secretly deleted over 100 potentially critical pieces of evidence right before the GOP was set to take over the House of Representatives after the Venero win in 2022. As the news outlet notes, the House Administration Committee's Oversight Subcommittee is leading an investigation into January 6th, led by Chairman Barry Loudermilk. Uh, the panel is investigating the security failures on that day and the actions of the former Select Committee investigating the Capitol riot. The former January 6th Select Committee, chaired by Representative Bernie Thompson, uh, was required by law to hand over all documents from its investigation to the new GOP-led panel. According to Fox News, Thompson promised Loudermilk that he would turn over four terabytes of archived data. But this turned out to be a lie by Thompson. The GOP-led panel ended up receiving less than half the promised material. A total of 117 encrypted files were deleted by the corrupt committee on January 1st, 2023. The 118th Congress convened on January 3rd of 23. Fox News reveals Loudermilk's committee was forced to hire a digital forensics team to scrape hard drives to determine what information they were not given. While the data was eventually recovered, they do not have the answers and passwords to access it. The Georgia congressman sent Thompson a letter requesting he provide him a list of passwords for all the password-protected files created by the select committee so that the committee can access these files and ensure they are properly archived. Loudermilk, Loudermilk also sent letters to the White House General Counsel and the Department of Homeland Security General Counsel requesting unedited and unredacted transcripts of White House and DHS testimony to the former Select Committee. While these transcripts exist, they were never turned over to the January 6th Select Committee. Loudermilk told Fox News that he has set up a deadline for the White House and DHS to comply with his demand by January 24th. It's obviously that Pelosi's select committee went to great lengths to prevent the Americans uh, from, from to, it's obvious that Pelosi's select committee went to great lengths to prevent Americans from seeing certain documents produced in their investigation. It also appears that Bernie Thompson and Liz Cheney intended to obstruct our committee, our subcommittee, by failing to preserve critical information and videos as required by House rules. The American people deserve to know the full truth. And Speaker Johnson has empowered me to use all tools necessary to recover these documents to get to the truth, and I will. As Julie Kelly notes, the actions by the J6 committee are a clear example of obstruction and contempt of Congress. Moreover, she points out that the reason they would cancel evidence is because it's, a de it's devastating to the narrative regarding what happened that fateful day. This isn't just about the public's right to know. It's about January 6th defendants' rights to access potential, potentially exculpatory evidence produced by this committee. The only reason Democrats would conceal, destroy, delete evidence is because it's devastating to their January 6th narrative. 
in any ordinary American or GOP member of Congress pulled this garbage, they would be looking at years in prison. But the rules are different for Democrats. Amen. That's true. The thing yeah. is, it's also hiding evidence that could maybe prove the innocence of Donald Trump as well. And that's the reason I think the main reason they deleted it. That's exactly why they would delete it. Why, because from their perspective, why would they help? Donald Trump in any way. They they hate him uh, with a passion. And the thing that immediately comes to my mind is not only Donald Trump is he under criminal investigation and, and charges, but all of these January 6thers, I mean, there's like a thousand of them and there's potential exculpatory evidence. We've seen this time after time after time these guys didn't have the video they needed when they went to court and a prime example is the oath keepers and officer dunn and how they did in fact encircle him with their backs to him and try to protect him and calm him down seeing as though he was walking around screaming obscenities at anyone who would listen the guy was obviously totally unhinged, and the Oath Keepers tried to do him a solid by keeping other protesters away from him. And you know what he did? He turned around and lied in court. Well, he told the truth in the first deposition, but then he lied in court and put these guys in jail, some of them for 20, one guy for 22 years, another one for 18 years. This is absolutely unacceptable and it's sickening the january 6th committee is the textbook definition of a sham committee that was politically motivated and didn't have any desire to get at the truth only their only desire was to make donald trump look bad and provide any evidence they could that he had committed criminal behavior, which he hadn't. Yeah, get orange man bad, man. That's yep. what it was about, to get Donald Trump. And right now, they're trying to hide this evidence and keep it out of court because it's going to tear up their narrative. That's the main yep. reason. And I guarantee you, he's gonna, uh, Bernie Thompson, he's going to keep on obstructing and not giving passwords and everything else. In my opinion, with this information that's come out, Trump's lawyers need to ask either for a longer time so they can get the information or ask, ask for a, uh, uh, a dismissal. dismissal. Yeah. yeah. Because the fact is they're trying to hide information that would actually probably exonerate him. And it, and it goes against their narrative, but uh, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you're aware when we make new content. We're live tomorrow morning at 930 Central Standard. Got a great show planned. Please join us and have a wonderful rest of your day.